Welcome everyone, Sargon Kizaran here, Senior Technical Adoption Manager for VMware by Broadcom. During this video, I will demonstrate performing a pre-upgrade assessment for RE operations. This is recommended by VMware prior to performing any upgrade of your RE operations cluster and a good practice to have in your overall ARIA lifecycle plan. This is a unique file that you download from the Broadcom support portal, and requires entitlement, and you later upload to the appliance. Every ARIA operations release contains notes of new features, changes to UI or system, and sometimes deprecation of some features, which is what leads me to this video. Let's get into it. Here we have the release notes for version 8.18, I'm running a previous version of RE Operations 8.x, and in all the release notes, there's bullets here that generally state under installing and upgrading VMware RE Operations that give you some heads up before going into it. And one here is, it is always recommended to run the pre-upgrade assessment tool, and even points us to a VMware KB, which is now a Broadcom article ID. And essentially, we're going to run through this KB here. The steps are all there. And then we go over to the Broadcom support portal to download our pre-upgrade assessment tool, which is this file here. And now keep in mind, this file is unique, so it's not going to be the same file when the next version of RA operations gets released. Now, the pack file that's downloaded has to be uploaded to the cluster. In order to access the cluster, we're going to need to access the admin interface. Remember, there's a UI and an admin interface. So essentially, it's your FQDN of your RE operations cluster slash admin. And once you log in with your local admin account, we'll go over to software update. And this can vary on how long it comes up, depending on the size of your cluster. We're going to click on install a software update, browse to our pack file. I have mine on a network share, so just keep in mind, depending on your network share and where you're uploading it from, time can vary on the upload. We'll click install pack file and then we'll begin the upload. We can see here our pack file did upload successfully and we've got some information here. So we'll go ahead and click Next, accept the EULA, click Next. Definitely feel free to read through these, but we're going to go ahead and click Next in here. And now we're going to go ahead and kick off the install. Now it's not making any kind of changes to the cluster or performing the upgrade. It looks a little misleading because it's running it through an install software component, right? But it's not making any changes other than generating a assessment. Click install. And we'll monitor it here. We refresh. You can see that the installation is in progress. And right here, it's going through its various steps. And of course, in my environment, I have a master and a replica as well. Master replica. The assessment has now completed, and I've got some download links here. You hover over this sheet, you'll see that this is where we can review the validation log for the pre-upgrade assessment. Now, and we've got one for each one created for our master and our primary replica. So we'll click here. And then we can see here that we have some green check marks on checking some overall cluster items, such as disk space and whatnot. And it seems that we've got some alarms with this could be adapters. It's basically saying adapters are not receiving object data, and I'm aware of what that is. So that's something important to fix if you you know see any in the you see any in the environment. And then we'll take a look at the primary replica.
So, and if you find anything that requires work and you're not able to decipher it, do definitely reach out to Broadcom, VMware by Broadcom support before going into, you know, and executing the upgrade. And that pretty much concludes it. Hope you guys found this helpful. And again, highly encouraged to always test in a test dev environment, hopefully before going into production and definitely reach out to support. Hope you guys found this helpful.